Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you a wonderful new AI tool I discovered fairly recently, and it's called Brisk. Brisk is an AI tool that does a lot of different things, but specifically it provides tips for feedback and can help you speed up the formative feedback process. Like if you're doing any type of writing with your students, it can help with that. And that's one of my favorite things because that's very time consuming. And it's important when we give our students feedback often, it really does show in research that students do better when they have that regular timely feedback. Other things that this tool can do uh, is really act as an AI teacher assistant. So it can help you level different texts to support the different reading levels in your classroom. It can help you generate lesson, idea, lesson ideas and brainstorm amongst other things. And it is totally free for teachers right now. They do have premium versions they'll be releasing soon uh, for school districts to purchase, but they have a lot of different deals going on right now. And it is totally free for teachers for individual use. If you are a tech coach, if you a direct message brisk on Twitter, then they will give you access to the premium suite of tools and even more bells and whistles uh, for at least the rest of the school year. So that might be something that you're interested in and might help you with delivering some material for your teachers. So I have brisk installed. It is a Chrome extension and that's really where you'll go and get started. It does walk you through a nice guided tutorial the first time you go through it. So what I do is I always make sure that I pin the tool here at the top and that's just clicking the puzzle piece and then pinning it. And I have a fake student essay here uh, from a student named Robert over themes of The Great Gatsby. So what I'm going to do is over here where I have the brisket little button, I'm gonna click it. And I can have some different options here, keep it open. But if I select it, this is where I have options. So if I want to write like lesson plan, type out some information, including maybe even emails to send to people. It can help me with that. But for right now, I'm going to use it more as a feedback tool. So it does have an AI detector. Just know that with any type of AI detector tool, it's not going to be 100% accurate. So you could use this as an initial pass through, but it might be worth looking through the reading and really getting to know your students and their writing style a little bit better before you just assume that everything it says is AI generated is truly the case. So if I wanted to use this to give feedback, I'll just select give feedback. And then this is where I give it some pointers. So let's say that on this particular essay, I want them to make claims um, and I want them to include some supporting evidence. So what I'll do is decide what grade level I kind of want this to be giving the feedback in. Um, so let's do 10th grade. All right, and whenever I'm ready, I click brisket, which always makes me think of barbecue, but <laughs> it's gonna go and it's gonna think and think and think and think. All right, so the way that I see this as being super helpful is if I am someone who is an ELA teacher, this is probably gonna be your new favorite thing, but if also as a social studies teacher, if you're a science teacher and you do lab reports, it could be super, super helpful. Uh, you give it some criteria of what you're looking for, and then it goes in and it kind of gives you some initial starting points. After this, what I would do is I would go in and add even more details and clarification for my students. The nice thing is that this integrates with Google Docs really, really well. So as it types out these comments, I can have a whole conversation thread with my students. It does integrate with Canvas Docs, um, not Canvas Docs, but Google Docs that have been added into Canvas assignments. So you can certainly still use this tool and go along and give comments and feedback from there. So I love this for formative feedback so that as students are in the writing process, as they're working towards that summative final essay, that final product, that they're getting more frequent feedback from me as the teacher along the way. Uh, and I'm not spinning my wheels coming up with this because a lot of us have 120, 120 plus students in our class. And while we often want to give feedback more often, that, that certainly is time consuming and a barrier. And this helps free up some time so that I can give students the feedback that they need and I can spend more time coaching and supporting them in class and getting them towards reaching those learning goals. So as I see this here, whenever I'm good to go, if I want to add this to this, I just click comment and it puts it, puts it there. I'm a nice because it creates that visual cue here where there's highlights for my students. And then I can always go through. And as I add these comments, I can tag the student here so they see this and they know. I can paste in links and different things for them to go back and reference maybe what we studied or reviewed in class. And 
I'm good to go. Now, if I wanted to use the AI detector, if I click the little brisket button again, I can do detect AI writing or I can go through and use some of these other tools. So that is brisk. I hope you find it as helpful as I do. I think it's great for giving formative feedback for students and really just checking in with them and how they're doing a little bit more often than sometimes what we can without a tool like this. So check it out, it is free and check out their Twitter if you wanna see even more awesome resources and suggestions for use.